By God's grace, UYWI is 30. 30 like Steph Curry. We gathered our courage, we saw the needs and took the shot. We are the underdogs, serving the underestimated, marginalized communities because we get you, because we are you. So some of the influencers that came out of UIWI, I mean, the list goes on. Anywhere from people like Lecrae, DJ Promote, Kev on Stage, the whole Humble Beast organization from Atomist Propaganda, Ruslan. Rewind. I'm on the verge of an identity crisis. A rapper slash scholar don't consider me righteous. Raised up, raised up, raised up. Jackie Hill Perry, Albert Tate, Ephraim Smith. I'm not talking about somebody that lived in the ghettos of America. His name is Jesus. Sammy Rodriguez, Virginia Ward, the, the list goes on. You may be wondering, where did this powerful movement come from? Who lit the fuse? Let me introduce you to someone who was far from ordinary to legendary, the founder of UYWY. His name is Larry. Rewind, why? History has it, while pastoring in Southern Cal, Larry got fed up with ministries, too comfortable with legacies of Latino pain. A plentiful harvest was crying out, and Larry answered that call. He set out to train leaders for what now has become Urban Youth Workers Institute. Day one, flowing from the barrios of Santa Ana to the hoods in Harlem, raising rebels in the Inland Empire, reload national conferences, urban youth workers mobilized. A multicultural movement grew and gathered nationwide. So seeing what the conference looked like and seeing who came and see who answered the call in those early years was amazing. Organizations like DeVos, Urban Young Life, Youth for Christ, so many other organizations responded and came. They brought their leaders. They flew from across the country, all over, even international. And it was these partners who came with us that helped build this army of urban leaders to serve in the trenches. And it was a space that we got to create with the arts, with music, with the training and all the different components that we put together that people came and experienced. Yeah. Oh, man. What's up, baby? You got the shirt on. It's the OG. That's the OG. The term OG. <laughs> ah, I love it, I love it, I love it. Okay, I'm just trying to get it. <laughs> so OG, original gangster, original God-ordained urban youth worker. I've been around the block for a minute, so I am over 35 years in urban youth ministry. So the urban ministry landscape in the early 2000s, primarily for me in my context, was either black or Latino youth workers. Black and Latino churches, we have very similar issues. We didn't have the money and didn't have resources. A lot of our urban youth workers weren't professionally trained, meaning we didn't go to seminary, we didn't go to Bible school, and the only training we had was at conferences. Throughout the years, the urban landscape has now expanded. It's not just black and white. UIWI has really helped to shape who I am today. I would say it's the first youth ministry place where I felt accepted and received in the skin that God made me. The skills and the information I learned from UIWI and continue to learn keeps me current with what's happening in youth ministry, but also sharpens and equips me as a youth leader, as a trainer, so that I can train the trainer, so that other generations will continue to grow and to flourish in urban youth ministry. The biggest legacy that Larry Acosta left for us, it's the relational discipleship, that we're here to walk with each other, and if it's not relational, it just doesn't matter. I have immense gratitude to Larry that 30 years ago, he would just leave, you know, kind of a comfortable office and youth pastor job to give to leaders like me and others to start this movement. And he had no idea where we would be at now after a pandemic where our world's at, that we're in the perfect place to lead this next iteration of a church renewal movement globally, that urban leaders would be so important to the context here and now. For 25 years, Larry led with undeniable passion, but then passed the baton for one last lesson. The legacy you leave is not what you build, it's the leaders you raise. Fast forward. Raise up Tommy Nixon, receives the baton, and 2019 leads the vision on. Increasing national footprints, empowering with fuel. Next Level was born as a pandemic ensued. A digital world Tommy led us through. From national conferences to meetings on Zoom, podcasts, panels, Insta, YouTube. UYWY went digital and our familia grew. 
With compassion and wisdom, Tommy led. UYWY's now standing on strong shoulders that won't bend. Raised up, raised up, raised up. I look forward to the years to come. Um, for, for the next vision for, for uh, UIWI to join into that and to see how that's going to continue to grow me and how I get to be a part of that and see other people's lives transform. You have put a, a, move, a movement in him, Lord, and we know that you will guide him in everything he wants, Lord. That anything that he, he seeks his mindset to, you got to put that mindset in him, Lord, and you will guide him to, this, to the next strength. Oh man, uh, when, I, when I got the baton on stage, what was going through my mind was just extreme joy. I didn't know if pandemic was gonna happen soon after that, but whatever, you know what I mean? So, <laughs> I was like, well played, Larry, well played. I get to carry the legacy of someone that I love deeply, of, of Larry Acosta and who poured so much into me. I, I get to actually carry that into the future for future generations and I get to be the OG that, that came before me. And we're in a space now where we're seeing major things happen both nationally and internationally. Like that's you too. If God can use someone like me, God can use someone like you. And, and he is. And that's what gets me excited about working with younger leaders. You know, at our core here at UYWY, we are a leadership development organization. And since our inception, we have been about developing role models and leaders who can lead our youth to experience life transformation through the gospel. And traditionally, we've done this in urban churches and communities and spaces that are predominantly populated with people of color. But now, as the demographic of our entire country shifts toward a more young, urban, and multi-ethnic people as the majority, what we find is there exists a leader of color gap within the traditional structures and churches and faith-based organizations and institutions. So we're expanding our strategy here at UYWY in order to create lasting change by creating and cultivating and nurturing organizations and businesses that are led by leaders of color. You see, we want to see more leader of color led initiatives. We want to see more leaders of color in positions of influence. And we want to see the beauty and the diversity of the kingdom well represented in our institutions. What we want to see is a movement of urban leaders who lead generations of youth to restore and rebuild broken communities globally. Together we are celebrating 30 years of UIWI. The legacy we leave, we leave, we leave, we leave is not what we build. It's the leader, it's the leader, it's the leader, it's the leaders we raise. The legacy we leave is not what we build, it's the leaders we raise, we raise, we raise, we raise. Let's keep leading, fam. You make a difference.